login. Uh, this time more good is uh, for me. It's a uh, Tarot uh, Ironman 650 uh, TL65B01 version, the one with the carbon fiber legs. So I got this from miraclemark.com. And I hope it's finally the 650 multi rotor that will uh, will make me happy because uh, maybe if you've seen my my reviews on my channel YouTube channel, I have built a 650 aluminium arms hexacopter uh, using 850 kV motors and 1147 props and with uh, 4s 4000 milliamp I get only about seven minutes flight time fully equipped with FPV gear and uh, brushless gimbal so to be honest I hope this one would uh, would be better would be easier to fold lighter and uh, I hope I get also longer flight times so as a first impression I just uh, opened the box a few seconds ago just to make sure that everything is inside as a first impression like I said uh, this frame is really really light is lighter than the previous one I have. Okay, so this is the only instruction I've seen to, to be available. As you can see, it shows you add radius of the of the prop uh, by 650 mil. Okay, and uh, some uh, basic assembly instructions. This is what you have. Uh, basically this one is the the other version with the the plastic uh, landing landing gear okay let's see what's inside the box uh, I see all the small bags are marked with spare parts and a number so this one seems the the main part where you put all the electronics inside it says spare part one yeah I think you see it now uh, it's this one is pre-assembled. Uh, there are also some other parts inside. As I, as I show you, it's really the first unboxing, so I didn't open everything. Anything, I mean. So far, looks nice. Good-looking carbon fiber. Yeah, this one is the turret logo on it. Okay, let's see the second box. Okay, I got scared that it's missing. <laughs> so on this one, as you can see, it says per parts two. These are the parts inside. Yeah, different uh, mounting uh, rubbers and rings for the, the skids. So this is the second bag. Now let's look at the third bag. Uh, this looks like the, the landing gear. As you can see, it has a... Uh, working mechanism I hope with some clear warning uh, showing you the hand so <laughs> be careful when you operate this not to catch your, your fingers and have an unpleasant experience so this was spare parts 3 okay let's see if we find spare parts spare parts 4 yes so spare par parts 4 it's actually the, the arms, the, the quad arms, so this is the biggest part uh, in the kit. Of course, four of them with the blocking parts already pre-assembled, as you can see here. And there's yeah, some, uh, something else inside. Ah, okay, uh, some stickers, just let me break it open and see what's inside. I'm curious, same as you maybe. Very good packaging by Tarot. Okay, the stickers. Sticker with Tarot. Okay, and an arm. It's really light, really, really light compared to my, my aluminium arms hexa. It has the tarot logo on it, it's hollow inside and uh, yeah, have a nice texture, a nice feeling. So, looking good so far. Oh, 
Okay. So this was inside here. I'll see later on when I put it. So this was bag number four. Okay, let's see furthermore. Uh, bag number five. It says spare parts five. So this should be the, the motor mounting brackets as you can see here. So these are the motor mounts together with some additional fixation parts which at this moment I don't know what exactly they are but of course I'll come back later with the complete build and my my review and my opinion regarding goods and bads so this was number five let's see number six so bag number six these are the 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 plates that go underneath and you can attach the brushless gimbal and uh, Myself, I ordered an extra battery tray holder on the back. So this should be the the main tube for attaching the gimbal, and this should be the landing gear, if I'm not mistaken. So again, this was bag number six, and let's see bag number seven. This should be the part needed for the, the landing gear. And this is made out of plastic. So this is what it's here inside okay now let me okay this one's extra or maybe i need a pair of this one <laughs> and this one is the only one left okay so the box is empty okay let's see again these are the, the parts so the main part here manual here Spare parts two, spare parts three, the main, the landing gear, spare parts for the pods arms, okay, spare parts five, the motor mounts, and spare point, spare part six, the the tray, the tubes that go underneath for the, yeah whatever brushless gimbal you might have and uh, the landing gear part so this is all there is now i will i will show you the parts okay forget about the locking of the main gear so this would be spare part seven uh, this was the tarot iron man 650 kit but now i would like to show you also the parts that i will use together with this one just let me take this aside So, in this not very good looking box, I have the, the other parts also from MiracleMart.com So, uh, like I said, I was looking for a 12 inch prop setup that has also good flight time but also good flight characteristics in wind and also good agility in flight, let's say, uh, not so lazy, like 15, 16, 17, whatever uh, prop size so for motors I, I stick to the tarot I will have to see if these tarots are uh, good or not so good I read the uh, reviews that with some version some other version of Simon K they don't uh, fly so well overheating but it seems with the latest version of Simon K they fly just fine like any other uh, pancake motor so for me it's the first time I see this kind of pancakes it's they're really big in diameter okay they're not very heavy the, the the text here is a bit washed out so i really hope they're original because uh, they look like that and on the other hand when you look inside and when i compare it to my other sunny sky uh, i really don't like much what i see if you look very carefully at the coiling uh, it seems to be done manually which i really doubt on this kind of product you can have manually uh, coiling and I also doubt that you have the, the efficiency needed in the Chinese factory for the making of this so I have to just see if it works well or maybe I just have bad luck on this one and uh, the motor mount on this one is only for T-prop as you can see it has only two holes so you can put only T-props on it so I got myself four of those 
this is the power number these are uh, if I'm not mistaken 680 kV motors from Tarot anyway I'll put the list of components underneath the, the video so if you want to replicate my build you can do it easily so these are the motors uh, like I mentioned additionally I got this uh, battery mounting tray on the back so it will attach to the, the longer pipes and it will help balance the the brushless gimbal in front so this is an extra part from the kit also extra parts which I thought they are really useful uh, are these landing uh, cushions or whatever they are called it's again from Tarot so they look nice, they feel nice they are supposed to take hard landings and vibrations ok this is my receipt so it's not interesting for you ok along with it uh, Actually, it's not for this build. It's for my sleep, my 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 flip FPV. Sorry, it's a uh, uh, yeah, it's a clone, I guess, Ramsey B OSD. So I don't know if you can see through this static bag. It has also GPS inside and uh, OSD itself in the back. So I hope you use this on my flip FPV. For this build, uh, I will get an APM. Uh, the last version, I think it's 2.8, is the one with the compass outside the, the flight controller. It's embedded with the, uh, the, the GPS unit. Okay, so now moving on to the, the speed controllers. I know these are much to have 40 amps, but uh, I like this uh, this version of speed controller. It's first time I will use, so it's uh, pre-bulleted, let's say here. So I just have to to solder the ESCs to the the terrets and then just plug it directly. Uh, I hope I'll have a good clean uh, layout with the wires going through the tubes. I'll have to see how much I have to add and so on. So these are uh, optimized for uh, multi rotors from Hobbywing. They're called uh, X rotor. Just check it out also on uh, miraclemar.com and I think Hobby King also has this products as new product. So four of these to go along with the motors. Okay, uh, this one is for the APM. It's a mounting plate with uh, vibration dampening. Never used this before but I read good things about it. This one is something also that I will use for the first time. Uh, it's a uh, power distribution board with a uh, U-back uh, already included inside for 5 volts. So you basically just uh, adjust the, the, the voltage that you need and uh, you just take, take it out whatever you need it. So simple and easy. Okay, I got this one extra for some other project. Not a big deal. Okay, and now to the the nice part I will show you the the props these are the 12 inch props so they look really really nice and, and solid they are made of carbon fiber and they are made by by Tarot I hope I will not have balancing issues on them because I think balancing one of these would be quite a big challenge so uh, yeah so far this is what I have like I said, uh, it will uh, it will go with the uh, APM and uh, yeah, I have like I said the uh, 4S 4000 milliamps battery. I will also add the brushless gimbal, uh, FPV camera, and uh, transmitter on 5.8 gigahertz. So, uh, what can I say, I have good expectations of uh, yeah, return to home basically because I don't want this uh, bigger quad not to have the possibility to, to have a good loiter mode, to have a good return to home because with the previous Hexa and the Creos All-in-One Pro version 2 I had uh, quite some big issues with GPS hold and uh, basically in multi V 2.3 which was loaded I never get a good return to home basically maybe because of the compass was built in and had huge uh, deviation when I, I throttled up and when I spooled up the motors so again these are the 
components that will be used for the build and uh, so far unfortunately I have to wait for the, the flight controller and the telemetry stuff that will be together with the with it for the build so uh, thanks for watching subscribe if you if you enjoyed it and uh, stay tuned for the the final uh, assembly of the quad and uh, the flight review and my, my impressions at the end thanks for watching again bye bye and fly safe